If there is one common place that everyone knows where metals are used, it is in Olympic medals. But do the gold, silver, and bronze medals actually use gold, silver, and bronze? Or do they use something else? The bronze medal actually contains 95% copper and 5% zinc, while the silver medal contains 100% silver. The gold medal contains only 5% gold, and the other 95% is made of silver. The cost of a gold medal is $548, $292 for silver, and $216 for bronze. For the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio, there were 812 gold and silver medals handed out and 864 bronze medals awarded. This brings the total cost for medals to $638,778 just for the materials, without taking into account the cost of the engravings. At one point in history, gold medals were actually made of gold. This was, however, more than a century ago in the 1912 Stockholm Olympics. If we were to make the gold medals today out of solid gold, each 500-gram, 85-millimeter diameter medal would cost $21,674 alone. The Olympian with the most gold medals of all time, Michael Phelps, who has 18, would have $390,132 in gold medals alone if they were made of solid gold. Depending on the year that the games take place, the medals might have slightly different compositions. For example, the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing had a white jade ring in the gold medal, a pale jade ring in the silver medal, and a dark jade ring in the bronze medal. For the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, the medals will be made out of recycled small electronic devices. Around 90% of the municipality in Japan took part in this project as they look to extract 30.3 kilograms of gold, 4,100 kilograms of silver, and 2,700 kilograms of bronze. Here is one more interesting fact. Did you know that in the 1928 Amsterdam Games, Henry Pierce of Australia stopped rowing in the quarterfinals to let a family of ducks pass in front of his boat? Not only did he end up winning that race, he also managed to win gold in the finals. If you want to learn more about how mining helps provide the raw materials that we use in our daily lives, subscribe to our channel.